Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Kim and today I would like to talk about Jesus' return date. And as you can see, Jesus is coming back on April 18th in 2030. Uh, if you go to Revelation chapter 6 and 17, and chapter 16 and 14, the date of second coming is called Great Day. And this same expression you can find in the Old Testament, Malachi chapter 4 verse 5, and also Joel uh, chapter 2 verse 31. So we can understand the date of second coming is great day. And let's go to John 19 31. Uh, in the time of Passion Week, the following day of the Passover, it was a great day. And we know this great day was Abib 15th. So if you go to Numbers, Chapter 33, verse 3, it says 15th of Abib. And we know this is a day of full moon. Because this Abib 15th, this is a lunar calendar. And if you go to Proverbs, Chapter 7, verse 20. Husband is coming home on full moon. So we know husband is Jesus Christ. This is Jesus. And Jesus is coming home on full moon. So we have two clues. One is a great day and the other one is a full moon. If you go to John 7, 37, there is another great day. But this great day it is a tissue 22nd. This is in the time of Feast of Tabernacle. So we understand this is a great day, but this is not a full moon date. So we can understand this is not the date of second coming. Because Proverbs 720, husband is coming home on full moon. So we have two clues. One has to be full moon and also it has to be on a great day. So this April 18th, 2030, this is full moon and also this is Abib 15th. So we can understand Jesus is coming back on Abib 15th. And when you think about the time of Exodus, it was on Abib 15th. Full moon. And after 40 years, they arrived at the promised land 
it was also on Abib 15. So Exodus, uh, this is Numbers, chapter 33 and 3. And this arrival, this is Joshua, chapter 5, 11. They arrived at the promised land on Abib 15. So from here we can understand Departure date and arrival date is the, on the same date. So this departure, this means crucifixion. So crucifixion means exodus. And arrival means second coming. So from here we can understand Abi 15th. This is the departure date and also will be the date of the second coming. And when you think about uh, John chapter 2 verse 19 21. Jesus said, I will build my body uh, for three days. And if you go a patient, Chapter 1, verse 23, the body, the body of Jesus, body of Jesus is church. And this church means uh, ecclesia. I don't know how to write ecclesia, which means called. So if you go Psalms chapter 90 verse 4 to the Lord 1000 years is equal to one day. So from here, we can understand Jesus, He is building the church, which means New Jerusalem, for 3,000 years. Because here we have three days, and to the Lord is 1,000 years, is like one day. So we can understand uh, New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem construction. New Jerusalem construction uh, will be 30 AD through 3000 30 AD. So we can understand the New Jerusalem will be coming down from heaven in 3030. But we know there is 1000 years millennium prior to this New Jerusalem. So we can figure out from here the second coming. It will be in 2030. And if you search this number in the Greek concordance, 
Greek concordance. It means I witness. I witness. So when Jesus is coming back in 2030, we all will I witness Jesus, the glory of Jesus. So brothers and sisters, uh, please pray and study about these verses and I hope God will help you to understand Jesus is coming back in 2030, April 18th. And the golden key, if you want to figure out the prophecy, you must study Matthew, Matthew 12, 40. This is the key. Jesus died on Wednesday and resurrected on Sunday in 30 AD. Uh, brothers and sisters, we are waiting for His coming. But if you want to welcome the second coming of Jesus, you must study about this great day. Because Christian, our leaders, they have abolished this great day. And that is the abomination of the church. There is only one law, which is by the blood of Jesus. And that is the great day. This Abi 15th, this is a remembrance of the crucifixion. And we as Christians, we have abolished this Abi 15th, which means that is the abomination of the church. We have abolished this great day, and we are waiting for the great day of the second coming. And do, we cannot really welcome if we do not understand the true meaning of great day. This great day, this is the new covenant. And we must restore this new covenant in order to welcome the second coming of Jesus Christ, the great day. God bless you.